Hello Geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you are here today because it's time for another monthly update. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these or all the other running content that I have coming out on my channel. The monthly update is where I just take a look back at what's gone on over the past month. We take a look at how training is going. We'll look at my racing calendar, any races or medals that I may have gotten over the course of the month, any new gear or equipment that I've been trying out, and a look at what's going to be coming up next on the channel over the next month. So let's go ahead and jump into it like we always do by taking a look at training. Here we go. And welcome to July. We have finished a first full week of July. And oh my goodness, you guys, things are just so crazy. I am so short on time. Uh, I'm in the middle of production week. For those of you who are just new to the channel, I do theater here in the area and we did have a show opening this week. So between dress rehearsals and performances and getting the kids to where they need to go for their summer activities and some volunteer work that I'm doing, it's just been absolutely crazy. So uh, I've not had as much time to dedicate to running as I would like. Some days I'm lucky if I can get in a 30 minute run um, or maybe a 15 minute workout after that. So short on time, but I'm using that time to focus on the quality of my workouts. So focusing a lot on form of my run, uh, lower reps in the workout, but making sure that they're all of good quality form. So trying to focus on that, um, but I am getting something done every day, making sure of that so I can still kind of keep on track. Unfortunately, we have been in the midst of a massive heat wave. So a lot of the outside running, when I finally have time to run, it's usually, you know, 111, 112 degrees outside. So I've been forced into the treadmill, which is not the end of the world. I really don't mind the treadmill. Um, and uh, unfortunately, no time out on trails just because it has just been uh, really hard to be able to find the time to get out there and good enough weather where I'm not going to pass out in the middle of the woods. So, you know, we make do in this situation. If all I can run is 30 minutes on a treadmill, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna focus on my form and make sure that it's a good quality run. So these are the choices that you have to make sometimes. But uh, it was an easy week last week, some lower mileage, uh, shorter long run, but uh, finishing up my strength training program that I am on this week. And it's gonna end with, I believe, a four hour run. So we'll see how all of that works out. I will catch up with you guys later. And we have done another week of running. You can see a lot of debris on the streets behind me. We had a huge thunderstorm last night, but this week was relatively easy as far as training goes, which is great because I had a super busy week between getting my kids to day camp, uh, had the dress rehearsals and last week of performances, uh, some more volunteer work that I was doing. So it's just been absolutely crazy. So I was very, very grateful for an easy week. And it uh, was kind of a mock taper into a practice race weekend for the end of my uh, strength and endurance program that I'm doing through Run. So it ended with a three hour long run, which unfortunately I had to do on the treadmill. Um, not so much because I mind the treadmill, I really don't, but uh, the treadmill clocks me is going so much more slowly than I actually am. Um, so where it said that I only did 12 and a half miles, if I were on the road, that would probably be like around 15 miles or so. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I managed to get it done. I feel like I'm in good shape. Um, I kind of did it with uh, some run walk intervals, usually 20 minutes of running and, you know, just very easy running and then five minutes of walking. So felt pretty good. I feel like I'm in fairly good shape for half marathons coming up on the calendar. And looking ahead to this week, this is going to be 
um, another easy week, just the way that it's been put together, uh, just to kind of give me a little bit of recovery time, which is great because my schedule has not slowed down all that much. I've gotten a few things out of the way. Day camp is over. Um, I'm finished with performances, but I do have some other irons in the fire. So I'm happy to kind of have an opportunity to kind of rest a little bit. There's going to be more walks this week than actual runs, just giving my body a chance to recover. And uh, we'll do a short-ish long run this week, probably about an hour and a half. So that's where we're headed. I'll be back with more info next week. And here we are. It is the last full week of July. Oh, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you'll see that uh, over the weekend, I finished the virtual San Francisco half marathon. So I will be unboxing the race kit after they send it out, which is going to be sometime after this weekend. So I've got that. Um, I am still so busy and it is still so hot. So I will say that getting runs in has been an absolute chore, uh, but I get it done. I try to make sure that I'm staying consistent. As long as I stay consistent, things are gonna work themselves out, I really believe. I am just coming down off of an easy week going into half marathon. I'm gonna have to do another easy week because I will be traveling. I am celebrating my 20th anniversary with my dear husband. So we are taking some time off for just us. And then I'll do some sort of an easy run when I get back from the weekend. But uh, got to kind of keep things somewhat on the steady, even keel because I have races coming up for the first two weekends in August. That about wraps things up for the month of July. We'll take it back inside for some more info. See you there. And we are back inside. So there you go, just a quick look at some of the training over the last month. As you can see, it has just been unbearably hot here. And I know that's been true pretty much all across the world. We are just experiencing some horrific temperatures right now. Um, all my friends in the UK are dealing with it. All my friends here in the US, especially here in the South, uh, even as far up as Canada. I've had lots of runners talking about just how tough the weather has been on their training in this last month. And uh, with all the humidity that we get here, it just makes it feel that much worse. It's just oppressively hot and humid, makes it really hard to breathe. So, you know, it, it's kind of rough and uh, we're all experiencing that together. We're all in this together. And so with that in mind and keeping in mind that things are just busy with two kids at home and lots of things that I'm doing and trying to get done. And uh, th there's just so much that's going on right now that my main focus was just to be consistent, be -e consistent. The whole thing that I was focusing on was just making sure that I get something in every day. Thankfully, I have my training plan through vert.run and every once in a while when things get a little bit too hairy, I will request an easy day or request an easy week if I see a lot that's coming up that I don't know how I'm going to schedule it around. And my coach has been really good about adjusting the plan for me and making sure that I'm still getting something in, but that it's not as long or not as intense so that I can uh, kind of work things around my schedule and still be ready for upcoming races, which we'll be talking about in just a second. So I've been trying to get more strength in. Um, I've not been concentrating much on my legs and I realize that that's something that I'm going to have to do. I've been working a lot on core. I've been looking, working a lot on upper body strength just because I really enjoy working upper body. You'd never know it to look at me, but I do enjoy working my upper body. Um, but I have been sorely neglecting my legs and I really think that I've been neglecting a lot of my mobility training. And so I'm going to try and focus a little more on that in the upcoming month, or at least that's my hope. So I'm only trying to just gradually improve. That's all I've ever done. I'm not a competitive runner. Um, I'm just a determined runner. And so that's what I'm focused on this month and where I'm headed in the next month. Moving on to races, um, again, with all of this weather and with everything going on, there's not been really any IRL races going on, which is kind of a good thing because I think it'd be dangerous to race in some of the conditions that we've been having right now. However, uh, I did this past weekend, if you've been watching the channel, you saw that I completed the virtual 
San Francisco half marathon since it just wasn't in the cards for me to actually get there this time. Um, just ended up having to convert it to virtual and I did it here and it was just past daybreak when I started running and it was still just so hot. I was absolutely drained and dehydrated. I spent the whole rest of the day trying to rehydrate and I'm kind of glad that the weather conditions were what they were because it really forced me to take a look at my hydration and fueling strategy which apparently are not as good as I thought they were. So that's something that I'm going to have to work on probably over the next month or so as I do have more races that are coming up and with that in mind let's talk a little bit about my race calendar. So so far I have uh, mentioned that on August 6th I'm going to be running a 24 hour race. It's the first time that they've been holding it in Little Rock. I think they hold it in maybe three or four cities across the U.S. and they have a, uh, a rather small field of runners that are doing this but it's a 24 hour race where we run 5k every two and a half hours and it, eventually it adds up to 50k and so I have to be at the starting line every two and a half hours on the dot in order to qualify for uh, that next lap. So we're um, going to definitely be recording that. Um, make sure that you are stay staying tuned to the channel so that you can see exactly how that works up. Also on the calendar, the weekend right after that, I will be running the Scorch and Squirrel. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that that was my first ever trail race last year. And I'm going to do the exact same race this year. There are several different distances that you can choose from. And I am once again doing the 11 and a half mile distance. Uh, you don't know what you're gonna get weather-wise really. Um, so it's going to be an adventure. I just want to see if maybe perhaps I can do a little bit better than I did last year. I've also announced that I'm going to be doing the Route 66 half marathon in Tulsa and that's going to be in November. So I do have that to work on. Hopefully I'll have better weather conditions than I had over this last weekend. So hopefully my half marathon time will be a little bit better this time around and kind of set a little bit of a standard of where I want to go with my half marathon time from there on because I do have some more half marathons coming up as I planned on doing a, at least a half marathon in every state in the U.S. So I do have some more race announcements coming up. Make sure that you are staying to the channel so that you can see where else I'm going to be racing. I would love to meet you guys if you're able to make it out to the race just to stop by and say hello. That would be amazing. Let's move on and talk a little bit about new gear and equipment. Now I've kind of been sticking to the status quo with everything crazy going on. I haven't wanted to throw anything new into the mix right now. So I'm kind of just staying with what I've got at the moment, but I am doing a little bit of uh, just kind of experimenting on the side. If you've been watching the channel, then you have seen my series running on the cheap where I've been taking a look at, is there a way to get uh, running gear from discount stores. So I'm going to have a link up here to my reviews playlist and that's where you're going to find the episodes of that that you have missed so far. I'm going to have some more coming up so make sure that you're watching for those. And finally looking at what is going to be coming up on the channel as I mentioned earlier there are going to be some race videos of all the races that I've got coming up. So of course the Death by 5k in Little Rock, the uh, Scorch and Squirrel also in Little Rock. There'll be videos on those and of course the Route 66 Half Marathon when I I do that in November. So make sure that you are watching for those if you are interested in uh, seeing a little bit about those races or about my experience. And I'm going to have those up as soon as I get those done. And as I mentioned earlier, I will be having some videos with uh, announcements for upcoming races that I haven't talked about yet. And I'm going to have some more episodes of Run the USA. And for those of you who are new to the channel, Run the USA is where I take a look at the most highly recommended races state by state. So if you're looking to run a race in another state like I'm doing, then you have some options that you can look at or maybe some options in the state we're already living that you didn't really know about. So make sure that you're watching for that as well. So um, I've got plenty coming out on the channel as far as uh, my training, my upcoming races, uh, just various information, uh, fun vlogs and things like that. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. That's your second reminder right there. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Now just like I do every single month, I do have a playlist drop for you. So if you are looking for some new music to listen to, to while you are out on a run, then you have that. I am going to drop a link down below to that. I have a guest curator this month. It's Susie from I Run Things. I'm going to have a link to her channel up here and down in the description so that you can check her out for yourself. And she has chosen all of the music for this month and I am super excited about it. Also, if you would like to hear 
all of the tracks that have been used this year, then there's going to be a link down to the 2022 mega list that has every track that's been chosen so far. And if you are interested in our collaborative list, there's a link down below to Welcome to the Geek Den. And that is a list of songs that are suggested by all of you. If you have some more suggestions for that list, make sure that you drop them down in the comments below. That wraps things up for the month of July. I've got a busy August ahead of me and looks like even more coming up in the fall. So I can't wait to share all of that with you. If you found this fun or entertaining, make sure that you drop a comment down below or give this video a big thumbs up. Both of those really help the channel get out to more runners just like you. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being with me for another month. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. See you guys later. Thank you.